And what's going on, Fontaine here, VIPSoundLab.com, on the Machine 2.1 software update. And this time I'm in Cubase 7. I had a, a VIP member request. So this is going to be a request video for Cubase. Now, Cubase is DAW. You know, it's it's real dope, but I don't use it. So to me, it's new, so it might kind of jack me up. But anyway, I'm going to show you how you can get your, uh, your group MIDI batch set up inside of Cubase 7. I'm going to be using... You know, if you guys know me, I like control over my drums. So I'm using sounds to MIDI channels. Of course, you can use sounds to MIDI notes uh, for instruments. Well, I'm not going to say just instruments because you also can use sounds to MIDI notes for drums too. You know, if you want to get your whole entire, you know, MIDI pattern. But okay, let's go ahead and get this set up right quick. Let's go over to our channel properties. Let's go to our input MIDI and let's get these little guys set up right quick. Active again. When you're setting your MIDI inputs to active, you're activating it the exact same uh, way that you can do it on the mixer screen here. So let's go ahead and uh, get these channels set up. I'm gonna press eight. That way, when I'm going down the line, it's a lot easier. Seven, oops. I don't know why I always do that. Okay, seven. Now we can go, then go to six. or rather it makes it move a lot quicker. The reason why I do it that way is because it makes it uh, just easier to scroll through the channels and get them set up. All right, so now we have the, the MIDI input set up as you can see right here and with the new machine 2.1 update it's a lot easier using the group midi batch feature so let's go ahead and uh go ahead and drag these guys over we get a little midi icon here and we'll drop them into cubase like so all right so again i'm new to cubase so i don't know why i brought that little Haleon instrument up but anyway, let's go ahead and get this set up. So basically, we're going to set up the MIDI inputs and outputs. We're going to select uh, Machine 2, MIDI in. Now, what's dope about Cubase, you know, i only been on it for one day. I just got it today, actually. What I like about it, though, is how it automatically gets, like, these little channels set up. Like, one thing I got to do is set up the inputs and outputs, and it automatically assigns the channels. It has this little icon here where you can bring Machine back up. So I'm going to grab a blank scene over there. But I think that's dope. So I'm go ahead and get these set up right quick. Like that. So you just gotta be patient with me so I can get these little uh, tracks set up. So basically from this point, I'm just putting the inputs and the outputs. Like so. All right, and that's it. And then pretty much from that point, you just go to your uh, your transport control. And let me bring up machine right quick. So then that way we can get a look at it. Because basically what's going to happen is it's going to play off this blank uh, little scene here. So basically machine becomes a virtual instrument at this point And it becomes a sound module. So let's go ahead and uh, bring a little transport over. And make sure we have it looped. Rewind. And press play. All right, we're just going to hold it up right there. This is Boy Fontaine, VIPSoundLab.com. Be sure to come by the website. We have a basic membership, which is $9.99 with no monthly fees. Again, I repeat, no monthly fees. You can sign up and get free monthly drum kits, free controller editor templates, free session files, as well as free templates. So I'm going to go ahead and uh, zip this one up, and I'll also throw this on our free sound page for our VIP members. You know, if you want to download the session, open it up, rip it, rip it apart. You know, the sounds that you're hearing in this video is from our uh, our Dirty Drums drum kits, one of our newest drum kits, man. It's dope. Banging, banging. 
if you want some hitting hard drums man you need to definitely check this kit out man that kit goes hard and uh you can head, you can head over to the site and download the demo and get these exact same sounds you know and open up this uh this template also because i'm gonna i'm gonna take this template from cubase i'm gonna upload that and uh you know i'll upload the uh the machine one also so then that way you know you guys can get in there and uh, get things set up you know use it as a little resource you know for learning how to how to get some things set up but other than that man yeah that's pretty much how you get it set up in cubase 7 that's pretty much it your boy fontaine vipsoundlab.com see you guys in the next one peace